Good morning, church. I made it. All these beautiful faces. Uh, Father, I thank you for every precious soul here, Lord. And uh, Let the words that I speak or read be all of you, Lord, and none of me. And I thank you for this opportunity to partake in the communion celebration with all my wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ. And uh, just bless this place and fill it with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, good morning. I was speaking with my wonderful wife, and uh, the best way to do this is let the Word of God uh, speak for itself and um, teach us about communion. And I was planning on using a lot of my words, but I'm not. I'm going to use all of his words. <laughs> okay. Amen. So I'm going to be reaching, uh, reaching. I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians um, 11, 23 to verse 34. So in case you all wanted to follow along. <coughs> Institution of the Lord's Supper. Everybody ready? Okay. Verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supping, after supper, sorry about that, saying, this cup is the New Testament of, in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's Death till he comes. Verse 27. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the, br the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the word, with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, Wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home. Let you come together for judgment, and the rest I will set in order when I come. And I'm going to go back to verses uh, 24 and 25. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So, everyone take your wafer. And, oh, no. Okay. Eat. Don't spill like I did. Verse 25, in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new, test, new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So everyone turn.
For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. 